This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning, and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the third Sunday of Advent. Our celebrant is Father David Misbrenner from St. Peter of the Fields in Rootstown, Judy Hendershot, organist from St. Peter of the Fields, and I am Diane Michalik from St. Peter of the Fields. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Fanny Infant Infante. <clears throat> all come, all come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It is truly good for us to be here. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to, to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O oh God, see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity. Enable us, we pray, to obtain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. 
The Lord, your God, is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Cry Cry out with joy joy and gladness, for among you is the great great and holy one one of Israel. Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Cry Cry out with joy and gladness, for among among you is the great great and and Holy Holy One of Israel. Israel. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The crowds asked John the Baptist, what should we do? He said to them in reply, whoever has two cloaks should share with the person who has none. And whoever has food should do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they said to him, teacher, what should we do? He answered them, Stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Soldiers asked him, and what is it that we should do? He told them, do not practice extortion. Do not falsely accuse anyone and be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with expectation and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming, and I am not worthy to loosen the tongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire, and his winnowing fan in his hand to clear his threshing floor, and will gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn in the unquenchable fire. Exhorting them in many other ways, he preached the good news to the people. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, we all want something more. And the function of Advent is to remind us what we're waiting, what we're waiting for us as though we go through life too busy with things that do not matter. But we have to remember the things that do matter. When year after year, we hear the same scriptures and the same hymns of the longing for life to come, of which this is only a shadow. And it becomes impossible to forget the refrains of the soul. Advent relieves us of our commitment to the phonetic and fast-paced world. It slows us down. It makes us think. It makes us look beyond today to the great tomorrow of life. Without Advent, moved only by the race to nowhere that exhausts the world around us, we would be so frantic with trying to consume and control this life that we fail to develop within ourselves a taste for the spirit that does not die and will not slip through our fingers like melted snow. It is while waiting for the coming reign of God, Advent after Advent, that we come to realize that its coming depends on us. What we do will either hasten or slow or sharpen or dim our own commitment to do our part and to bring it. Waiting, waiting that cold period of life when nothing seems to be enough and something else beckons within us is the grace that Advent comes to bring. It stands before us, within us, pointing to the star from which the wise ones from the east are only icons of ourselves. We all want something more. Advent asks the question, what is it for which you are spending your life? What is the star that you are following now? And where is that star in its present radiance in your life? Where is it leading you? Is it the place that is really comprehensive enough to equal the breath of the human soul? God bless you. Together now let us pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now offer our needs, our prayers, and petitions to the Lord that the church may be a more perfect model of charity and generosity toward those who are in need, and by its actions, inspire others to do the same. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all nations may continually work to bring peace and prosperity to all people around the world. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the elderly, the infirm, and the disabled, and for those who care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who live in the Holy Land, the birthplace of our faith, that they may be kept safe from harm, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us, as we offer praise and thanks to God for the blessings that we have received, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of our needs, for all of our prayers, we place them at the altar of Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in us, the sacred mystery, and powerfully to accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just in our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exalted in praise. And so with the angels, the archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing a hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <clears throat> holy, holy, For Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on the account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your spirit, that they may become the body and the blood of your son at whose command when we celebrate these sacred mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at table, he himself took bread in his hands and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer to you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us together with your Son in this saving banquet, graciously and to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace. Among all people, may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, George, our Bishop, with all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you've gathered us now at the table of your Son, so bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the blessed apostles, Joseph, and all the saints, and with our brothers and sisters of every race and tongue. For those who have died in your friendship, bring us a share with them in the unending banquet of unity, in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth. Through him, with him, and him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and filled with divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity, accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with with your spirit. We share that peace with each other. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks. Thanks be to God. People look east, the time is near of the crowning of the year. Make your house fair as you are able. Trim the hearth and set the table. People look east and sing today. Love the guest is on the way. Furrows be glad the Love the guest is on.